Well, some people on a popular Des Moines trail say they have to dodge drivers or be hit. It's a story you'll only see right here on KCCI. Kayla James spoke with some people who've seen the close calls up close. Neil Smith Trail is a welcome place for bicyclists and people just out on the walk. What the 26 mile trail is not meant for are motorized vehicles leaving tire marks like this. I did see one street bike coming down the trail close to McRae Park. Um, a week or two ago. They weren't going fast, but it definitely caught me off guard. There are people like Jessica who've seen cars on the trail from time to time. And then there are others who say they personally haven't run into any issues, like Blake McClung, who is concerned about the homeless population. I see a lot of tragedy on these trails that needs help. The Moines police say a homeless camp by the trail in the Riverview Park area has been the source of multiple calls reporting vehicles driving back and forth. Signs like this one saying no motor vehicles are up along this trail for a reason. A bicyclist says one reason is so the close call she experienced just last week doesn't happen to anyone else. An SUV was heading right for me. I ended up having to ditch into the trail. Jenny Cly says she's used this trail since 2017, and only recently is she seeing motorized vehicles on it as an issue. Well, it was terrifying. They were on a mission. They were driving fast. Um, they came up on me fast. I was terrified. That same SUV Cly says she dodged on Labor Day is this one. She took a picture of on Tuesday showing a person being arrested. Des Moines police say Charles Logan Smart was caught driving on the trail. He had unrelated warrants leading to his arrest. I called our at-large city council person, Connie Bozen, and I'm, I'm just amazed that in eight days that we got that resolved. Kleist and others who should get a trail just want people to feel safe. In Des Moines, Kayla James, KCCI 8 News, Iowa's news leader.